Hey y'all, it's Crystal and Roscoe. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified the next time I post a video. We thank you. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Back to Basics with Crystal. So I am in my garden this morning. So I came out here to do a little work and talk to you guys a bit about what's been going on. Not really a whole lot. Since I got out here this morning, I noticed that um, we're going to walk over here and turn the water hose off real quick. But as soon as I got out here this morning, I noticed that... Um, one of my trellises for the cucumbers um, had fallen. So I fixed that. It's just held up with um, zip ties. Redneck engineering right there. You see that right there? That right there? It's been on my clothesline for five days now. Um, kids say they're gonna take it down today. We'll see. Um, my daughter decided she wanted to go buy my husband for Father's Day, um, a little kiddie pool, and uh, some floaties so they can, you know, sit in a little kiddie pool, they can dump it out daily, um, you know, because swimming in the quarter acre pond, we can't do that. No way. It has snakes and fish in it, according to the kids. Um, and we did have a pool, but nobody wanted to maintain it. So I took it over and that's my baby pen. <laughs> so now this year, the kids are really missing the pool. But I'm not willing to give up my baby pen. All right, so I am picking cucumbers and trimming off their suckers. And if you don't know how to identify a cucumber sucker, I will link it above for you. Um, but yeah, so my garden. We have had a ton of failure to produce anything. And so I have gone through and taken out a bunch. And I noticed that a bunch of my uh, black furnissage and my cherry tomatoes all had blossom in rot. Um, I mean, I ended up pulling pounds and pounds and pounds of tomatoes from blossom in rot. And the only reason I can think that that would happen is because um, with all the flooding and all the rain and all the the nutrients got completely washed out so um, I'm going back today and I'm going to uh, put in a little bit of fish bone meal and we'll talk about that that will be later this evening this is just gonna be kind of a collective video of things that I've done all day long um, so that'll be done this evening um, let me show you what I'm doing on the other side over here. You have to kind of adjust the way you do things. And unfortunately, we're tilling. Because what I want to do, and so we've already started, what happened is we started tilling, started tilling, got this whole area kind of broke up, started tilling, and it rained. It rained, go figure, it rained. So everything had to stop, and we're to the point today Maybe tomorrow we could start tilling again. It's still still really soft and wet over here. So I want to give it one more day with our extremely high heat and then start tilling again. So why am I tilling? Well, what I want to do and what I'm hoping to accomplish, I totally just tripped over a cat. <sighs> okay, so what I want to do, what I want to accomplish is... Um, by tilling, I want to break up the soil so that I can bring some soil and make mounds. So I want to make three mounds over here and see if that helps with keeping the plants up higher, um, creating a place where water can kind of run off and won't sit on top of my plants. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense in my head. So that's what we're going to do. Here's the big lesson that I've learned this year. So this whole area over here behind me, this winter, we went and covered it heavily, heavily in hay. So the mistake I made is that when spring sprung, 
I decided I wanted to cheap out and wait for cheap hay. Everybody this year seems to be hoarding their hay. I can't get hay for under $75 for the big roll, which is still, you know, it's not horrible compared to what wood chips cost me in this area, but it's not what I wanted to pay. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited. And what happened? The hay broke down and grasses were able to grow through. These are the same grasses that are growing everywhere else. So they were able to grow through. So now I'm having to deal with this. And the ants, I'm having to deal with a lot of ants. So we're going to uh, till this up, make the mounds, and um, then put hay back down. But I have to wait for it to dry out. So that's what we're doing there. Um, luckily, I've got a pretty long grow season. Unfortunately, I have to take precautions because of heat, then I can only grow certain plants um, in the heat. So, let's go pick some more cucumbers. Here's today's harvest. We gotta take a break. We gotta pay attention to the cat. Oh, it's big old Tom cat. Thanks, he's a kitten. Thanks, he's a kitten. Thanks, he could do little kitten things. Why are you biting? Okay. All the attention is on you. Yes. Never mind what I'm doing. No. Nope. Mm -mm. All the attention's on you. It's a big old baby. This is a National Pickling Cucumber. This is the second year that I've grown them. Um, I have grown Boston Pickling Cucumber and I've grown Chicago Pickling Cucumber. Both of those are awesome cucumbers to grow for pickles. Um, I did grow this one last year and I really like it because um, it's kind of, kind of flat. <laughs> it's, and it fits well in the jar. This is a little bigger than what I would normally like to grow them to. Uh, normally, I want to stay well under this size. This is my preferred size. Right here, this fits perfectly into the jar. Um, it's, I don't have to slice it up. These, I'll have to slice up just to get them to wedge into the jar nicely. Um, but I grew these last year as an experiment and I really liked them. They have a really good, great pickling flavor. They're not so good uh, fresh. The reason why is because they're bitter, very, very, very bitter. But what I have found with pickles is that when you start with a cucumber that is kind of bitter to begin with, for some reason, the pickles are amazing. They stay crisp. Um, they just have a really, really good flavor. So. I like these. I am growing them exclusively this year. I've got an 80 foot row and with all, and that's all I was going to grow. But, ooh, I see a honeybee. <gasps> that's like the first one I've seen in a long time. Yes. Okay, so um, Mr. Licky Man looks like he might knock you guys over. But, um, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, I got two examples here. You see this? See this cucumber? See it kind of kind of weird tapered at the end kind of looks like a dolphin maybe <laughs> here's another one that looks the same way okay now there's nothing wrong with these cucumbers they will still make a really good pickle um, or you could take them and chop them up and make a relish out of them um, I don't I will just make a pickle and they'll just be weird looking but why do my cucumbers look like this when we know they should look like this. Very kind of squared off, um, you know, flat. Why do they look like this? This is a result of bad pollination. So when you see this in your garden, you know that um, either 
your plants need to be pruned up because the pollinators can't get to them or um, you're just not you're you might have to go in stop mr. Licky ow 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 no 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 stop or you might have to go in and hand pollinate I'm seeing a few bumblebees working so we're gonna see how the rest of our crop goes we've got a few that look like this but the majority do look like this this happens this is very normal so if you see this don't worry about it seriously don't worry about it um, unless you continue to see this and you continue to see this and you can and you don't see any of these that look perfect if you see more like this then you know that you have a pollination issue either you need to prune back or you need to bring in some pollinators maybe bring in some plants that attract the bees or you'll have to simply go in and hand pollinate I am gonna go take a quick water break put these guys into the cold fridge so they don't get mushy we'll be making pickles tomorrow not today and then I'm gonna get back to work did I say it was hot? Did I mention that? It was pretty hot. <laughs>